This is Larry Henry at gambling.com. Welcome to the edge. I'm joined by Casey Lewis, sports book manager for Penn Entertainment at two casinos in Northwest Louisiana, the Boomtown and Margaritaville casinos. Casey is also vastly experienced at sports books in Las Vegas. Casey, before we talk about what Super Bowl visitors can do this weekend in Las Vegas, I want to get your take on the game itself. Who do you like between the 49ers and Chiefs and why? And what are some good prop bets we can look at this weekend? I, I never thought we'd be at this point, Larry. You know, uh, it's it's just commonplace in almost every state now. And uh, it, it, it's nice that you can do it and not have to go to a, you know, a, 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 a around the corner bookie and maybe get paid, maybe not get paid. I look at things a little bit different. I know a lot of people are interested in the, the Taylor Swift props and uh all the outlandish stuff. To, to be quite honest, a lot of places will either won't offer that or they'll offer it and they'll take like a hundred dollar max. Um, what you'll end up doing as a bookmaker, we used to do that, is you will get a lot of, let me get five dollars, five dollars, five dollars. Well, you're you're actually needing about twelve hundred people to to take it just and they're all gonna play the yes. Not that that amounts to a whole lot, whole lot of money, but um, a lot of things we used to put up Wimbledon and Wimbledon would you know, put, put Wimbledon up and you take like $15, you know, before the tournament started. So a, a lot of the a lot of the stuff that people are looking for, say they're looking for, it's kind of uh, humorous and gimmicky, but uh, there's really no value to it. Me, I, I first off, let, let me just take about uh, 30 seconds here and explain to everybody. You walk into every sports book, it's going to be the same. So don't be intimidated. When you see when you see the lines on the board and you see a minus – that's what you always put up to win 100. So if you walk in and you see minus 250, that means you got to put up 250 to win 100. The plus is what you always get back. So if you see plus 210, you bet 100, you win 210, you'll get 310 back. You're always going to get your money back. So just remember, minus is what I got to put up, plus is what I what I get back. Um, for me, I'm going to reach out a little bit. Um, I went to the West Book lines last last night. Um, Jay Cornegan and his staff. I've always been the the the, the champion. Uh, I, I tip the cap to them if I had the cap. Uh, they they do a great job. Um, I look. There's something new this year, Larry, that I've never seen before. You you you've done sat around in your local tavern and done squares and and gotten horrible numbers like five and three that are never going to come in. So a lot of the places like us here at Margaritaville are are offering where you can pick your squares and make that wager. For example, both teams up seven to four at the end of the game, like 17, 14, 27, 14. You're getting 20 to one odds, which which isn't really bad. Those are considered prime numbers to what to what we do. Um, you know, a zero and seven, you know, we're looking 25 to one. Um, so that that's something new and, and innovative that that we really do. Um, they also had highest scoring half. I, I tend to lead towards the second half being the highest scoring half. Um, if somebody's way out, the other team's going to pour about 24 in, or they're going to, or, or they're just going to melt down. Um, the only way you really you, you you fail on that is if somebody gets like a a 21 to three lead. Um, I'm going to try George Kittle, which sounds crazy, to win the MVP at 40 to one, because for him to do it, he's going to have to get at least two touchdowns, and you would lead towards Brock Purdy. But uh, I, I'm going to chase. He gets two touchdowns. He'll be in consideration, and there's. You know, there, there's there's an arrow there. So I, I found some some interesting things though, and I I hated these props as a bookmaker. They have will a team score at the first four and a half minutes of the game, and the problem with those are, is somebody will the the, the play will start at like four twenty seven, and they think that's when it when it actually is is scored. You know, it's at the end of the play. So I I never liked the time props. Um, they have longest field goal forty seven and a half yards. Um, this was real, real interesting. I never seen this. Now they don't kick a lot of field goals with everybody going on fourth down mainly. So um, I found they have total yards of field goals made of 100 and 115 and a half, and total for all touchdowns 76 and a half. My first thought was, well, what if there's a 50 yard touchdown? But you come to think of it, there are a lot of one, three, five, sevens, elevens scored, and that that adds up if you bet all the touchdown you know yardage being 76 and a half. Lastly, um, not something I would play. You know, Willerman overtime. It's 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 nine to a, nine to one on the nose. So you got to put nine hundred to win a hundred, and sixteen hundred to win a hundred on 
that um, team to call the first down, just a flip of the coin, decided by exactly one point is 16 to one. So if you get a 21 20, a 41 40, a 17 16, you know, there, there's some value there at 16 to one. Uh, will there be a successful two point conversion? As we know, those have come into play over the years. Um, and there's three to one odds on that. Total yards, this was really, really, I never seen this. Total yards for both teams, 710 and a half. Um, I just thought that was real interesting. Would you take um, it? Would you take that also, 710? Would you take that 17 number? Would you take the seven? Would you take that 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 prop at seven? Well, you, I, I mean, if you, if you're looking at 710, you're looking at, at, at 350 each, 355. I mean, if you really, to, to me, when you break down this game, you have to break it down who you like. If you like San Francisco, they're going to control the ball. They might be running the ball. Now, if that's the case, Patrick Mahomes will have to throw every down. Then your yardage is going to go up. Um, if Kansas City, you know, gets that early lead, then you just kind of, kind of how to see the game plays out. Uh, and there's a lot of props, you know, will the team win both halves, you know, that type of thing. Uh, also, go ahead. Little, Sorry to cut you off. Go ahead. A little side note in there. On that day, there's a good good chance Caitlin Clark from Iowa women's basketball team has a chance to break the all-time record. Um, she's 66 points. She has a game Thursday and Sunday morning. She will, if she goes for say 33 and 33 might have a chance to break that record, which we'll kind of have an eye. I've, I've been mesmerized by watching her play. She just, it's, it's a breath of fresh air to sports. What do you put that with a parlay with a Super Bowl bet, or you just bet that straight up that you'll break the Larry, record? Larry, I'd parlay a couple of cockroaches <laughs> racing up the wall if I had on an angle. Hey, more, listen. More, more, more if I had if I had more of these. So, I got you. you. I, I, well, I love the background. I love that you're in the, in, at the sports book now. Casey, no, no one knows more that I've ever known in my life about co college basketball than Casey, and I'm going to get you back very soon for March Madness and all the tournaments. You know, one thing I like about the props you're talking about, Casey, too, you got what color shoes will usher wear at halftime, all those sort of things. But really, you know, you're talking about real props that 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 sports that people watching the game are going to be interested in on the game itself. When it when and I love how you explain a lot of betters are like me. I'm an eleven dollar guy. You know, I mean, a lot of a lot of betters aren't the five hundred thousand dollar folks. So on the game itself. When you're standing in front of the window or at a kiosk and you're about to place a better, you're on your phone on an app. Are you taking the Niners and or the Chiefs? What is the spread now? Two, two and a half. Or who are you taking and why? Well, here's here's what I'm going to do. I I I'll try not to get too long winded here. I don't know the great Lem Banker, who Lem Banker I thought was just one of the great the greatest Las Vegas guys of all time. Lem made a living betting on sports which is hard to do. They say 1% of America or the world can do that. So in the, in the pre pre existence of apps, it wasn't even an app. He had to come into circus circus to call a number, to get a, a, a code to call another number to make a wager. And I'm, I'm probably 25. I'm half to half the age I am now. I said, Mr. Banker, I said, if you don't mind me asking, I go, it seems like you always play underdogs. He said, kid, let me ask you, if, if if you take the favorite, how many ways do you have to win? He, I said, well, one, apparently. He goes, if you got the underdog, how many? I said, well, it looks like two because you can win by the points or win already. He goes, two better than one, kid. So I generally, I'm always on the dog. Um, but in this case, I am going to take San Francisco, use an alternate line. I'm going to lay 10 and a half, uh, hoping they win by 13, 14, 17. And I get plus three fifty on that. So for a hundred dollar bet, or in your case, Larry, eleven, you'll win thirty five. You'll get forty six dollars back. Um, I, I scored really well on years years ago. Uh, Oregon, Ohio State. Uh, Oregon was favored, and I did that. I turned around and made Ohio State minus seven and a half instead of taking six or seven. Um, San Antonio during the Duncan late Robinson years. Uh, they played the Pistons. Each home team won by like 15 or more. So, I mean, there's a good chance you don't even have a shot at that. But I'm going to try to play a ball. And if you go back to that San Francisco-Dallas game, if they play like they did against the Cowboys that day, there's a good chance that they, they win by more than 10 and a half. Uh, one more thing, Larry. So, for those folks that are going out there, uh, to being a 26-year veteran, 
one one word of advice is you're going to see all these pop up things. Hey, we're going to have Mark, you know, Lynch here. Mark, you know, we're going to have Briar, or uh, Briar, you know, Drew Drew Brees here. Be very very careful. And I'm not knocking my hometown there, but there's a lot of gimmicky stuff where you pay fifty dollars and you and you won't even get a glimpse of a guy. So be very very careful of the uh, NFL activities. You, Years ago at Town Nightclub, everybody was hyped up. The LeBron James just off his title was going to show up. Everybody paid fifty dollars, and he walked across the, the the dance floor and walked out the other side. So you had ten seconds to see him. My my suggestion, Larry, a couple of my favorite places: uh, Casa de Amore. I know we we love bootlegger. Casa de Amore on Trop, just off the strip. They used to have a limo that would pick you up if you call them. I don't know if they still do. Great Italian food, build a little tiki bar out back. Lee Sandwiches downtown in Chinatown. Yeah. You get it, the best egg roll you've ever had with a sandwich. Uh, Krunk Siam, very, very good. Uh, Pepper Mill, which will be a crowd. used to be the old Stardust. You go to Fireside Lounge. These are great little places. You know what you're going to get. You're going to get value. Um, Black Crows, not really my thing, but Black Crows are praying Palms, the 9th and the 10th. Sebastian Maniscalco, great comedians playing the win, the ninth and the tenth, and T- uh, Teofimo Lopez and Ortiz are boxing on the eighth at Mandalay Bay. Those are those are things that I would do. Um, just be careful of like these NFL functions because, like I say, you, it's it, it can be highway robbery or it could be the time of your life. That's great advice. You know, it, it's uh, and I love the uh, the Golden Knights. Uh, the goal, yeah, I love, you, know, I love you, you know what? It's if the Lions would have made it. I so so for those that don't know, I was a 19-year Michigan guy, did the Air Force, and then I moved to Vegas for 26 years. So I, I sort of jumped on the Vegas bandwagon. We, we were season ticket holders. And um, so the Knights winning, Michigan winning the football finally. And if I would have got, you know, just happy the Lions got out there. It's it's been a fantastic year, you know, for me in sports. Um so you know what we're we're, we're doing? You're a Red Wings guy. The Red Wings coming out of the count coming out of the All Star, start out of the All Star break. They look good for uh, for a shot at the playoffs. I know you and your dad I, go to Wings games. I've they, been I've been asked a thousand play. times, "What would you do if they play?" And I'd still say I'd support the Red Wings. <laughs> hey, you know, Larry. So just 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 one more thing. Um, you know, I I had a decision when when I decided to get back into business uh, between North Dakota, South or North North Dakota, state of Washington, Washington D.C. It's a great opportunity here. People, if you're looking to come down, you know, we're, we're 20, 22 miles from Texas. We're 33 miles from Arkansas. We're in the northwest corner. Most people don't know where Bozer City is. It's it's We're divided by the Red River. We're across from Shreveport. It's, you know, it's great. We added a brand-new cigar bar. Larry, you you got to come down for a two-story sports book. I have a 40-foot, 40 44-foot TV. You know, it's it's like nothing like in the south. We've got great menus. You know, we're adding something. We might be adding some, a golf activity out near one of the parking lots. Come down, see us. Uh, my director, Sean Williams, you know, gave me a great opportunity here. He trusts me. He kind of gives me the keys to the car. Come in, everybody. If you're in the area, stop down. Larry was mentioning March Madness. I'm trying to build up Thursday and Friday like you get in Las Vegas. Um, come get your rooms. You know, let's let's have a little party Thursday and Friday. There's there's 16 games each day. Um, you know, from 11, it'll be 11 to 11 here. So let's party. Let's have a good time. Uh, come and come and visit us. You come here once, you'll be back twice. No sports book manager better than Casey Lulis. Two story Margaritaville sports book is Casey said closest legal sports book to Dallas. There will not be legal sports betting in Texas, at least for a couple of years. The legislature can't even take it up again in 2025. So go see Casey Lulis. Uh, again, Casey, I'm going to have you back on very soon for college basketball. I've never known anybody who knows more, bookmaker or otherwise, who knows more about college basketball than Casey Lulis. Love your choices for the best places to go this weekend in Las Vegas. Yes, bootlegger, south of the Strip, south of the Las, welcome to Las Vegas sign. Tough to beat the bootlegger. I love the big books like Circa, Westgate, but I really like the smaller old school Las Vegas books. I love the old book and the Fremont, which and now that's, and that would be that would be another suggestion I would have. It's it's great it's great to see Circa. Yeah, and it, you know it's it's great, but it's going to be an absolute zoo madhouse. Well, so find your quaint little thing. We go we go up for Breeders' Cup. We 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 have a table in the back of the MGM book. Yeah, Greg Fisher takes care of us. 
and it's a time of my life where I, I could I could be somewhere bigger, you know, glitzier and whatnot. But you know, yeah, find your find your spot and and have the time of your life. That's a great book, uh, crazy. Uh, and I haven't dropped no f bombs, Larry. So you're look, lucky. Look, look, usually look, that usually look, that look. is that is a positive. When you and I are on the phone together, there's some f bombs. Look, I love the small book at Planet Hollywood. You walk through that little enclosure to go to the pin up pizza. I love the small book down the street from Circa too. At see, see for me now, now. I, I I don't I don't I don't need to do. I did all the things. So so Planet Hollywood to. Me, if it's still there, Nestle's had that little cookie stand where you're getting cookies hot. So it's it's to me, it's the best of both worlds, being an adult, being a kid. You, you can get those. You can walk 25 feet. You'd be out on the Cabo Wabo patio listening yeah. to live music, looking at the Bellagio fountains. It doesn't get better that. It does get better if you come to Margaritaville, though. It does. Because I guarantee you, it does. we're not trying to be Vegas. We're trying to be better than Vegas. Hey, Casey, I tell people. So I love a little book of Fremont, which is now a FanDuel book. Listen, I tell people all the time, if you haven't been out of Las Vegas and seen what's happening around this country at casinos and sports book, sports books like Margaritaville, you have you're really missing what's going on around this country in terms of really nice places, nice sports books to go to. Casey, let me thank you for coming on. Listen, man, it's been fantastic. I appreciate your advice. I'm going to get you back on really soon to talk about the NC2 attorneys coming up, not just March Madness, but the SEC, the ACC attorneys, Big Ten attorney, all that. But also, I'll always make time for you, brother. It's it's a pleasure being on. Love having you on. Thanks a lot, Casey. I'm Larry Henry at gambling.com. Thank you for joining us on The Edge.